Hey folks, it's Dave here, and um, I thought I would jump on and try to set up my first app of football game. And uh, it looks like that's going to be the hardest part of this, is just getting it all set up and, and looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have New England take on Houston. And I what I did here is I did a couple of things here. I, I had a little cheat sheet that I printed out here just to kind of help me figure out what is what especially with the kickoffs and the punts, because all these symbols were confusing me. So I figured I would do that for myself. And then just lay out O to 11 and D to 11 over here. And then I'm doing the same over here. So what I thought I would do is uh, write down who's in what spot. And then that way there, I would have to have the cards all messed up. So I could really just kind of, I would only need the, the quarterback and the running back and the kickers, I think, if that's how it went. And I was going to put those over here so that's kind of what i was looking at for a setup so let's set up new england first because i'm more familiar with them so um posey's going to be our kicker today so posey's going to be the kicker so i'll put him in the back um lowry is not going to kick smith is not going to kick and i think wilson again from what i'm understanding pa it's my little thing here pa is my primary punter so pa so i get posey and Wilson are going to be my hunters. This is David C. Stops by. Thanks for coming by. All right. So now I got to get to the fun part of this is all the linemen and stuff. So I'm just going to go with what they have here and kind of keep it somewhat simple. Um, Julius Adams. How come I don't have Julius Adams here? Oh, here he is. No. Where is uh, he's um an end? Two and two Julius Adams. Oh my gosh, I can't find Julius Adams. I forget if he played forward or D. Wow, right off the back, I'm striking out. I don't see. Oh, here he is. So he's an end, but he's only a two end. But I like Julius Adams, so we're gonna have him play end. Sam Adams is a guard so we're going to put him up as a guard but doing is a strong safety and so him and fox will play bishop is an end so he's a three end so he's going to play defense boyd is an end Boy, i wish it would i don't know what's offense and defense though so it means i got to go through everybody oh my gosh there, let me just find let me just find the guys that I want to I want to play with. How about that? Pete Brock is a tackle. So I got Shelby Jordan and Leonard Gray. So it's kind of who I want. Brown. Oh my gosh. This is this is gonna be forever. Serious. I'm gonna I'm gonna be forever setting this up. Oh my gosh. What what was I thinking? So he's not playing. Don Calhoun is a rusher. Uh, Raymond Claiborne. Oh, my friggin' head. What was I thinking with this game? The, the, the setup is going to be the worst part of this game, I can tell you right now, because I read the rules, and the rules look good. This is going to suck, and it already sucks. I should be already into the game. All right, so cornerback. Con. Never heard of him. Caustic, never heard of him. Kreider, never heard of him. Cunningham, running back. Falcon. Some kind of a guard. No friggin' clue where he is. There he is. He's not going to play. Tim Fox is going to play. Russ Francis is going to play. Leon Gray is a tackle. Grogan's a quarterback. Ray Hamilton. He's a tackle on defense. John Hanna is offense. Hasselback is an end with Francis. Hawkins is not going to play. Mike Haynes is probably going to play as a cornerback. Ernie Holmes, never heard of him. Can't find you. Sam Hunt. Inside linebacker. 
Looks like he's going to play. Horace Ivory's a running back. Harold Jackson's a receiver. Andy Johnson's a running back. Shelby Jordan is a tackle. Steve King is an outside linebacker. No. Um, fun to see you figuring out the game. Yeah, it, this hasn't been fun so far. This has really, really not been fun. I'm not. I'm not enjoying this part right here. Is trying to figure out eleven offense and eleven defense for each team has not been fun. Let me tell you, defense. Maybe I should just separate them by offense and defense. McAllister. I, I I don't know who you are. Halfback, I guess. Um, no, we're not gonna play you. Uh, McCray's a strong safety, so he's gonna be sitting. Tony McGee is an end or a nose tackle. Mm, I guess not. Bob McKay, I don't know who you are. Stanley Morgan, Steve Nelson, I know. Tom Owens, a backup quarterback. Pennywell is an EB. Don't know who you are. Mosey Tsutupu is another runner. Tony Westbrook. Is a receiver. Steve Zabel is a linebacker. Rod Schultz a linebacker. And Shaum is an end of some kind. No idea where our defense. All right, so let's get the defense first. All righty, so let's try to get this going. So I'll just put these here. So this is going to be New England at the top. Rod Show. So how many do I have here? Let's see. Rod Show is uh, a linebacker. Zabel is a linebacker. Nelson is a linebacker. Lunsford is an end. Hunt is a linebacker. Ray Hamilton is a tackle. Claiborne is a cornerback. Bishop. Nose tackle for an end. Oh, he's going to be an end with uh, Lunsford. Mike Haynes is a cornerback. Julius Adams is an end. Tim Fox and Bedoin are the safeties. All right, so if I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. I have a strong safety and a free safety. So that's going to be these guys here. So, so D10 is the strong safety, and that'll be Doug Bedoin, Bo Bedoin. And D11 is the free safety, and that's Tim Fox. All right, so I got these guys here. <laughs> so I got two people down on my list. 9-8 a.m., a right cornerback and a left cornerback. So I think it's going to be Haynes and Claiborne. So we're going to go Mike Haynes. He'll be 9. And Raymond Claiborne. I suppose once I get these laid out, I could um, just have a like a template or something. All right, so I need... um. Couple of linebackers here. I need left and right outside linebackers. So left and right outside linebackers. So I got um. So these are my linebackers here. So I got <clears throat> Zabel, Nelson, Hunt, and Schote. All right. So outside, inside, inside. Okay, good. They do label them. Okay, I do like that. Maybe there's hope for this game. All right. So right outside and left outside. So D seven will be Rod Schote. And again, this is just what I'm doing. This could be completely off and wrong. Oh, Steve Zabel. All righty. I, I shouldn't be doing it this way, but that's the way I did it. All right, so that's that. Now I need, um. so I got Bedoin, Fox, Haynes, Claiborne, Schott, and Zabel. See how this goes. All right, so now I need... um. A defensive right end. And then I need a tackle. And a line. Boy, this is weird. This is weird. So I need a 
Defensive right end. So what's my best end? Bishop Lunsford. We're going to go Lunsford. So Lunsford's going to be my end here in D5. So Mel Lunsford. All righty. Should probably just do this on a spreadsheet there, and that way I could type in all the names and make it look nice, right? All right, so Lunsford's on the end with D5. D4 is defensive right tackle or inside linebacker. So I got to choose between one of them, right? Because I only got, no, this, this is something's not right here. So I get the right end. Now I need the left end. So we'll go. I'm going to go Julius Adams because I know him. So he'll be the left end. So Julius Adams. All right. So Lunsford Adams will be one. So now I get three more spots. I get a left tackle, a middle linebacker, or a left linebacker. And then another linebacker. So do I want four linebackers here? Yeah, so that would be, what, a 3-4? Or a nose tackle? Um, okay, we'll put Bishop in his nose tackle. So um, Bishop will be behind Adams. So we got a Richard Bishop as a nose tackle. Bishop, and then I need a, um, two more linebackers. Middle linebacker and an inside linebacker. Um, so we'll go this. We'll go Steve Nelson. And Sam Hunt. All right, so that's what I got. So that's going to be my defensive lineup. <laughs> These sheets I'm filling out, um, I can make them available. This is just something I did in... Um, in, in Excel just to kind of organize myself. This is probably way more work than I need to, but the problem is just if something happened, I, I'd like to, you know, if it says D4 and I go to Sam Hunt, then I can kind of write, go right here and I find that, you know, there's Sam Hunt right here, you know. I don't have to mess around and figure out who's playing where. So I wanted to kind of, I wanted to do this to maybe make this easier on me. Maybe I'm making this way harder by doing it this way. I don't know. All righty, so let's... um. Let's start with a wide receiver. So we got um, Harold Jackson and Stanley Morgan are our receivers. So we're gonna go um, we're gonna go Harold Jackson. So he's gonna be on the left. So Harold Jackson. So far, I'm not having fun. Just just saying, this this setup might be a deal breaker. Now I gotta go to my tackle. So I get Jordan and Gray. All right, so here's my tackles. So I got um Leon Gray and Shelby Jordan. Leon Gray. And Shelby Jordan. And I get to do this all for the other team too, by the way. That's gonna be real fun. Cause I don't know any of those guys. All right, so I got a um. No, I screwed that up. I need a I need a tackle and a guard. Oh, I've already screwed it up. I'm not having fun. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm not having fun with this. I wanted to lay this out so I knew who was what, and um, I've already screwed up. So I need a guard. So let's find a guard. John Hanna. Already screwed up. John Hanna. Not have folks not having a bit of fun right now. This is this is not what I wanted to do for a football game is to spend all friggin day doing this i sound like id right now so right now this is not any fun the game hopefully the game is fun once i get this set up but this sucks this friggin sucks i'm not having a stitch of fun right now 
I just want to play. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. I want to play. All right. So there's my center number four, Bill Linkitis. Now I need another guard, and that was the um. I'm gonna fix the other guard, Sam Adams. So I don't freaking know. So hand is a guard, then the center, and the other guard is Sam Adams. I don't even know where he is. Oh, here he is. Sam Adams is five. Six is the right tackle, so that's going to be this this guy over here, this Shelby Jordan, right? Shelby Jordan. Right end or tight end? So Russ Francis is a tight end, right? Russ Francis. I'm just trying to not have it like spread out. So if I need to get somebody, I know what number I'm looking at. That's what I'm trying to do right now. And it might be a good idea, but the setup here, I mean, again, if I'm going to take, you know, the game's going to take me a couple of hours, and it's going to take me a half hour to set up. I've already been at this 17 minutes. I haven't even finished New England. That's the team I know. That it's, it's really not getting me excited to play this game whatsoever. All right, eight is the quarterback. Steve Krogan. Nine is the running back. Halfback, Andy Johnson. So we'll go Andy Johnson. I, I want to keep Andy Johnson out. Uh, Ten is a receiver. So Stanley Morgan. And a fullback, Sam Cunningham. All right, so those are my guys here. Now, I do have a couple of other running backs here. So I have um, in the running back. So these are my extra running backs and receivers that I think I'll keep somewhat handy here just in case I want to bring in somebody else, okay? So here's that. All right, so that's my extra guy. So that's my defense. This is my offense and my punters. All right, so let me get my defense here. So... Yeah, well, that's the thing, Brian, is it does take up a lot of room, and I don't have a lot of room here. So I'm kind of trying to limit it here. All right, so I got three, six, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, 25, 29. <laughs> Thirty-two and thirty-five. Like I got the starters right here on my my thing here. It just takes a while to go through. All right, so I got my defense for New England is thirty-five. So now over here, what do I got? Um. So four, seven, 10, 13, 17, 20, 23, 26, 31, 36, 39. So I get 39 for the offense and 35 for the defense, you know. 
Mike, Mike's at the dentist with the wife. I think I'd rather be at the dentist right now than doing this. This is, this is really, it's testing my patience right now. So I just spent 20 minutes setting up New England, 20 minutes setting up New England. Just saying. And on top of it, Miami, my Miami Dolphins are all, all messed up. I don't know if you saw that. My, uh, my Miami Dolphins in 1978 are listed as 2001. And it's a known problem that they let slip through and I'm not going to do anything about. Eh, whatever. All right. Alexander's a cornerback. Yes. Mike Barber, a receiver. Yeah, I think I know Mike Barber. Yes. Baumgartner is an end. Of some kind. No. Bethia is an end of some kind. Yes. So he's defense. Bingham is a linebacker. Yes. Brazil is a linebacker. Yes. Kenny Burrow. I think we're going to play Kenny Burrow today. Yeah. Campbell we're going to play, obviously. Carpenter. Fullback. I think I'm going to play Carpenter. I like Carpenter over Wilson. Or I'll just, I'll just play them both. Carter is a guard of some kind or a center. No, he's not going to play. Rich Caster. Uh, yeah, we'll keep him somewhere. Ronnie Coleman's a halfback. Yep, he's second behind Campbell. Curly Culp. Is going to play. Bill Courier is a safety. He'll play. Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean is not going to play. Johnny Durden is an end. Um, No. Andy Doris is an end of some kind. Um. No, I can't find him. If I can't find if I can't. Find you, you're out of here. Duncan's a runner. Fisher's a guard. Yep. Tony Frisch is the kicker. All right. So he's going to be my um, kick A. Yep. Uh, Heyman is a tackle of some kind. Um, yep. He's going to play. Al Johnson is a safety of some kind. Nope. He's not starting anyway. Billy, is this White Shoes Johnson? He's got to play. And he's um an end of some kind. Yeah, I'm going to put him on there. Kennard is a nose tackle. Nope. Pinner. Um, inside linebacker. Yep. Knopf is a safety. Nope. Muck is a center. Yeah, he's going to be our center. Merkins, um, some kind of an end. Nope. Nielsen, quarterback. Nope. Cliff Parsley is a fullback or a safety or a kicker. He's my he's my punter, I think. Yeah. Yep, okay, I did see that. So P.A. is primary punter. So Parsley is going to be our punter extraordinaire, you know? Mm -hmm. You're exactly right, Mike. After the setup, how many other games could I have played? I'd be halfway through. Oh, no, you know, no, I'm kidding, not halfway through. But I, I would already be, you know, three or four drives deep into uh, 49 quick decks football. Just saying. And it might get easier the more I play, you know. I get it. It's just... Did I, do I really have to go through this every time I want to play a game? Uh, Larry Poole's a running back. Reiner is a guard. Renfield. This is Renfield. Like Renfield. Renfeld. Renfield. Where is he? I don't even know. No idea. You know, if I can't find you, then you're... Oh, is he a free... Oh, he's a safety. Okay. Renfro is a receiver. Rucker is an end of some kind. Uh, 
No. Samson is a tackle of some kind. Yeah. Schumacher. Isn't Schumacher the goalie for Germany? Um, all right, so he's out. Stemrick is a cornerback. Yep. All right, Stringer is a linebacker, so he's out. Ted Thompson is a outside linebacker. He's out. Morris Towns is a tackle. He's out. Robert Turner is a runner. Ted Washington, he's in. C.L. Whittington is a free safety. No, he's out. J.C. Wilson is out. Tim Wilson is a back, I think. Yep, fullback. Robert Woods is an end of some kind, and Jim Young is an end of some kind. Not for Houston. Uh, okay, he's over here. All right. So let's see if we can set the Houston D now. Wow. Wow. All I'm going to say is wow. This Again, 26 minutes. Haven't rolled a freaking dice yet. Uh, obviously, I don't feel good today, so I'm a little on edge because I, I, I don't feel good today. But this is stupid. All right, so Jim Young is an end. All right, let's let's start with my free safeties. How about that? Courier and Renfelt. There's Renfelt and Courier. All right, so free safety, strong safety, they're both the same. So we're just going to go. Um, we'll have Courier be the uh, this guy and uh, Mike. Renfeld, he'll be a uh, D11. So I need a couple of cornerbacks now, and my cornerbacks are Alexander and Stemrick. There's Stemrick and Alexander, so they're both cornerbacks. All right, so we'll go um, right, right like that. Willie, Alexander, and Greg Stemrick. I probably should have um. Probably should have done these in um, on the spreadsheet there, Excel. Probably would have been a lot faster. Schumacher, KO the French player. Yeah, you know Schumacher, yeah. So this is 1978, except if it's the Dolphins, then it's 2001. And I'm not going to let them forget that either. That's a known problem, and people are laughing about it. I don't think it's anything to laugh about when your product is wrong and you know about it. All right, so I need a, a, a outside linebackers now. So my outside linebackers, outside linebackers, there's an inside linebacker, there's an end. There's an outside linebacker and an outside linebacker. All right, so we got um, left outside and right outside. It doesn't say which. And so we're just going to go uh, Ted Washington and Robert Brazil. All right, we're getting there. Only. 28 minutes and 46 seconds, and we almost have three quarters of this set up, you know? D5 is, a, is an end. So we need an end, and then neither a tackle or an end. See, this is where I get screwed up. It's like, do I want an end, or do I want a tackle, and what is the freaking difference? This is why I don't like complicated games like this. Just give me a team game, and I don't have to figure out any of this crap. All right, give me an end. Um, Jim Young. How the Jim Young's gonna go on the end here? So Jim Young, Jim Young. Uh, then we're gonna do a nose tackle. Do I have a nose tackle? Yeah, I do. Culp. So Young, and then uh, Curly Culp. Uh, then I need a middle linebacker. So I need two linebackers actually, and then uh, D five is an end so uh, okay so we're gonna have uh elvin bethia will be here and then steve kiner and uh craig i've never heard of you bingham 
Okay. Perfect. All right, so the Houston defense is done. Great. Friggin' great. Oh, uh, I never did my New England kick returners. Oh, man. All right, so my kick returners for New England. Um, o, A, O, B. Let's check my returners here. Do I have O, C? Um... Any of my running backs here? Oh, these are my, that's my, now I'm all messed up. All right, so OC, OC, OC. I don't have an OA. So I'm looking for my KOA, no, my OA, 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 OA. O C O C O C Are they in here? O B So that guy is a backup. O C You might not get a confirmation for a couple of days, actually. PB. I don't know what a PB is. Uh, nope, no clue. Uh, and here's the backup kickers. Okay, so I have not found... I have not found um, my primary kickoff guy. For New England. I have not found him. I got my kicker and I got my punter. I don't have OA. I got OC. I got OC. That's what I got. I got OC. OC. All these guys are OCs. I don't have a primary kick returner. Unless he's on defense. Hang on. Hang on. Let, before I before I really go ID on you guys, let's see if he's on D. Sometimes the defense. Yeah, okay. Here he is. Raymond Claiborne. Okay. So my kicker is David Posey. And my kick returner, Raymond Claiborne. And my secondary my secondary, so I need a um that's gonna be a uh O O B O B O B O B O B one Kenobi. O B, O B, O B. Oh boy, McAllister, uh, James McAllister, is my O B. Isn't this fun? Thirty-four minutes of Apple football. I haven't rolled a freaking dice yet. Unbelievable. Don't know what to tell you. All right, so I got, where is my, um, right. I got them backwards. Alexander, Stemmerick, Brazil, Washington, Bethia, Bingham, Kiner, Culp, and Young. All right, so here's my defense for Houston. Oh, my God. God, this is this is this is way too much. Wait, wait, way too. If the, if I have to do this every time I play a game game against uh, of Apple football, this is gone. This will be right on eBay. This will be gone. 
this won't this won't even won't won't last a second all right so now my punter is Jarrell Wilson and right, this is like that I'm kind of glad I come on here to do this instead of did this offline so you could see the ridiculousness of what I'm going through right now all right so I need a so that's my PA kicker. Um, PA is my primary punter. Okay. Now my primary receivers are TA and TB. So I need TAs and TBs. So let's look for TAs and TBs. No TAs. Oh, there's a TA. So Stanley Morgan is my top punter. Um, any TBs? Any TBs? How about on defense? TB, Mike Haynes. All right. So New England's finally all set. I need to do the Houston offense. Let me, um, am I glad I picked it up? I don't know. I'm, I'm 36 minutes into setting up a game and I have probably another 10 or 15 minutes to go. If it's going to take me an hour to set up a game and maybe I'm doing this completely wrong. Maybe I should just throw my starters up, but you know, I, I, I don't know how else I would have done it. I want to get everybody listed. So I know where to go. So I want to be going through the cards, you know, cards like this, trying to find guys when I can just have them all listed here. I've had zero fun right now. It, the fun factor right now is absolutely zero. All right, so let's um, let's count this out here. So we got three, five, eight, eleven, sixteen, nineteen, twenty-three, twenty-six, twenty-nine, thirty-three, thirty-six. All right, I'm not sure what they all mean yet, but all right. So now over here, so Pastorini is my quarterback, and quarterback is eight. So Dan Pastorini, and now let's take a look at uh, what we got here. So we got fullback Wilson. Yep. So he's going to be eleven. So Tim. Wilson is the fullback. And now I need a wide receiver. Would that be an end? I guess. Um, I want Kenny Burrow. Yeah, Kenny Burrow. That's a U. Yeah, whatever. Kenny Burrow. It'd probably look better if I did it on... And you're on the turf's going to be here on Friday, yeah. Well, you'll be playing a lot faster than I will be. You might you might have your game finished before me at this rate. So I need a running back. Earl Campbell. Earl Campbell will be my running back. 09. Okay. Um, then I got my quarterback, and then I got a right end. Or a tight end. Mike Barber. All right. Mike Barber. Then I need a tackle. So I got Heyman and Sampson. All right. So we have Sampson. So we're going to put him in first. So we got a tackle on six. So we have Greg Sampson. And then we need a guard, and our guards are Fisher and Reiner. All right. There you are, Mr. Fisher. Now, who's our center going to be? Okay, that's going to be Carl. So five is the right guard, so it'll be Ed Fisher. And 
So now four is the center, and that was on. That's easy enough. There's one guy. It's Marek or something like that. Carl Mark. All right. Carl Mark. All right. Now I need a guard. My other guard is uh, Reiner, I think. Yep. All right. So we have Reiner. George Reiner. Then I need a, my other tackle, and that's going to be Sampson or Heyman. Heyman. All right. Conway Heyman. I, I thought it was Conway Twitty. Conway Heyman. <laughs> Yeah, Charles, exactly. All, all this, all this, just to set it up. And maybe I'm doing this completely wrong. I could be doing all this, and it's just a waste of time. I, I don't know. But I thought I would need to know who is what. And then I need another receiver. Um, so as my fullbacks and my running backs. Rich Caster is another good receiver. Uh, Mike Renfro. Yeah, let's go Mike Renfro. As a one over here, so Mike Renfro. All right. So now I just got to get my my kick reach. Oh, I need to get my offense here. So I got um three, six, eleven, fourteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty. 33, 36. So now, if I'm understanding it right, there's got to be a six. One's got to be six better than the other one. So if they're not six better, then it's a B, right? Is that what I'm understanding? So I, I everything's going to be a B, I think. All right, so there's my... All right, so there's my defense, there's my offense, and here's some of my extra guys for Houston. Okay, and these are the guys that are probably not going to play. Oh, I need my um my punters, punt returners. So here's a a TB. So Guido is a TB. A TC. Uh, so Frisch is my kicker. Parsley is my punter. Oh, OA. Okay, good. So his mom, OA, is my re kick returner. So I will need him. So I'll put him over here with Frisch. So Johnny Durden. So my kicker is going to be Tony Frisch. And my number one returner is Johnny Durden. And anybody else over here? Not really. Uh, and Merkins is a TP. TB, rather. So he's my secondary punter. So Guido Merkins is here. Do I have a um, anybody on offense here? So my punter is Cliff Parsley. And I need, so I, ha I am, so I have OA is Durden. Guido is my B, right? And so I need a secondary kick returner. Hmm. Come on, give me an O B or a Okay, here's T A. So T A is my primary Ronnie Coleman is my primary punt guy. Alrighty, so Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman. And then I need um a kick return of B, so I need O B. Still need an OB. I got a TA. I got a TB. Oh, here's my OA. And I still need an OB. 
O B O C. Well, here's Billy Johnson. O B. How about somebody on defense? How about that? O B. No, I can't find my backup kick returner here. I have OA, I have OC, OC. Maybe it's in here. I need OB, OB. There's OB, OB1. All right, so Robert Woods is OB. All right. I think we're done setting up 46 minutes and we're all set up. All right. So there's my offense and my defense. Um, now where's some of my, so I want, um, my running backs out. So I want Wilson and Campbell out. So here's Wilson and Campbell. All righty. Okay. So now, now we can roll our dice. I think. Okay. So there's all that. There's all that. So now, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Quick start guide. So I added up everybody. And I think everyone's a B. Yeah. If it, okay. Seven points or higher and seven points lower so they're all within yeah so 39 and 36 and 35 and th okay so we're going to use column b that's what i did remember out of that all right time for a break i know and i'm, I'm coughing my head off today here too so i'm hoping i don't blow you guys's ears out all right so we're going to try for the opening kickoff here we go the opening kickoff we'll, we'll bring the dice over for the first time today <laughs> Who knows? This might turn out to be awesome. The setup was not awesome. I need I need a a better way to do this. Yeah, that, that was easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, after sixty six. My boy, this is I've been forty seven minutes. I haven't rolled dice yet. I haven't rolled dice. All righty, so that's what we got over here for the tabletop. Now I'm tired. Now I need a nap. All right, let's see if this game's any fun. Now that I have I've spent forty five minutes setting it up. Okay. Now, where is my, um, all right, so I'm going to put this here and this here, and we're just going to call a couple of plays before I get to Jason's chart, all right, just to see how it goes. All right, so Houston's going to kick off. All right, first quarter, 15 minutes, Houston's going to kick off from the um, 35, and it's a kickoff. Okay, so let's let's roll the dice here. So kicking off is Tony Frisch. All right, so we're going to get Tony Frisch out here. At least I'm still telling jokes. I know, I know. I I'm really not feeling good. I got sick again. My whole face is burning up, and I just wanted to play, and I didn't know I would be doing this. But who knows? Now that it's all done, maybe, like I said, maybe it gets better. All right, here we go. So Tony Frisch comes into the kick, a 26. So now I think I'm looking at, uh, where's my little notes here? So he's a, K O A P. So I'm looking in the P column. So in the P column, if I'm correct, because it's a K O A P, uh, 26 is a 7. On kickoffs from the 30. And what about the 35? So I guess I just add, add 5 to that. I guess I'm just going to add five to that because it says kicks off from the 30. And I think I'm kicking off from the 35 in 1978, right? I, it, there's no way this sets up in two minutes. No way. It just doesn't unless you have your teams all set. Maybe if after I get these teams done, I kind of put my offensive starters together. That's the only way. You know. All right. So here comes a kick. So we got a seven. So a seven is uh, 6409. 
great. 6409. 6409. 6409. So 64 goes down to the one yard line from the 35. 09. 09. Um. Okay, OA is 09 and OB is 010. Okay, so OA is 09. All righty, so that's how that should go. So 9 and 10, 9. Okay, all righty, all righty. Again, we're trying to, we're just trying to remain calm the best we can. <laughs> ah, here we go. It's like the pregame Super Bowl, says Glenn. <laughs> It is. It's like the pregame of the Super Bowl. All right. Now, here we go. All right. So we did get one dice roll. 51 minutes and nine seconds. We got a dice roll. So a seven is 6409. Now, coming from the 35. So that's going to be hit to the one-yard line in 09. 09 is going to be Raymond Claiborne. So I need to dig out Raymond Claiborne. All right. So there's Raymond Claiborne. All righty. And now for Claiborne, he's a OAK. Where's my uh, other thing over here? Give me a little cheat sheet. OAK is K column. All right, the K cars are here. The K cars are here. OAK. All right, so Frisch kicks off to the one yard line. All right, so he goes, and it's going to be Claiborne. All right, so he kicks it to the one. Raymond Claiborne, and we said he was OAK, so K column, right? Am I am I doing this right so far? A 33 from the K column. So kick returns. Um, hmm. Kick off, okay, kick off return, onside, safety, punt, fumble, and block kick. Okay, so I'm taking it here. So a 33 on Raymond Claiborne in the K column is a nine and 30 yards. That's a good return. All right. So Claiborne returns to 30 yards and New England has it now. First down and 10 on the 31 yard line. All right. If I did that correct. Okay. Hopefully I did. All right. So now I need to go get my charts here. So I am. Between the defensive 31 and my 15. Yep, so I'm on. Okay. All right. Okay. I think the, <laughs> that was pretty fun. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Well, what do you think? Uh, let's just do a, a quick handoff to Sam Bam Cunningham. Let's go inside to Sam Bam Cunningham. Now, um, looking at this here, so I think it's column B, right? And I don't know what the defense is going to be. Where is my chart for the defense? No, oh, man. What is that? Oh, there it is. Um, alternate defensive chart. All righty. So defensive points are 36. So let's let's take a look here. So I rolled a 41. And um, I'm 36. So they're going to go standard if I'm doing that correctly, right? So on this alternative defense chart, I got 36 on the defense. And I rolled a 41. So that's going to be standard. All right. Let me get this. See if I can get this right. So too much going on here. All right. So I got Sam Bam Cunningham. Now, did I roll for him? I don't remember if I rolled or not. No, I think that's that's going to be his roll. So a 41 for Cunningham. And I think I'm using the run column, right? I'm using R. Am I using the R column for runs? I think that's what I'm supposed to do, right? R for run. So a 41 is 25. So if I go inside run, 25 BS is zero. So he's stacked up at the line. So we're going to go. 
inside run to uh, Cunningham, and Cunningham is stuffed at the line. No gain. So we got a second down and 10 for New England on their 31-yard line. So that didn't work. Let's go um, a short pass to who's in the game right now. We have Harold Jackson, and uh, I like Russ Francis. So where is Russ? Let's see if anybody's an A. So it looks like Jackson's an A. Um. And Russ Francis is an A. Okay. Now, the B and the A, so the B is what, short, and then the A is long or medium and long? Is that what I read on the on the split ratings? Let me just double-check that on a pass play. On a pass play. Hmm. Some players have, okay, so the left is short and after is long and medium. Okay, fair enough. All right, so I got that long and medium. All righty. So between the, uh, where am I now? Where's my chart? So between the defenses, 15 and my, my 15 and their 31. So we're going to go short pass to Francis, and he's an A. So I should probably indicate that over here. So I'm not going to keep looking at this every time I want to look at it. So Russ Francis, we said, was A, right? So I think we go to column A for that. All right, short pass to Russ Francis. There we go. Uh, I got a 13. Now, it's off the Grogan card, and I think that's off the P, right, for pass, I think. So if I get a 13 Grogan P, that's a 16 on a short pass A. Oh, I didn't see what the defense was running. So I said I got a 16, short pass A, and they're running, they're running a D. They're going to go D, so they went deep, right? So they went deep. Going deep. I'm going deep. All right, so short pass to Francis, A column, 16, A, deep. And he'll catch it, and he'll, gain, he'll fall forward for one yard. So a short pass to Francis, and he'll get one yard. All right, so New England now with a third and nine on their own 32-yard line. So we're going to have to step up with a medium pass. And if I look at this right here, uh, they're going to go D. So it's going to be D. And now who do we want to go to? Um, I'm going to go medium pass to... I want one of the backs out of the backfield. I guess I can call pretty much anybody, right? Um, I don't want to go to Jackson just yet. Um, who's my other receiver? Morgan? Sure. How about Stanley Morgan? How about Stanley Steamer? Um, so for medium pass, he's an A. All right. So we're going to go medium pass to Stanley Morgan here on third and nine against a D defense. Okay. So Grogan, a 42 on the pass is a 12. So 12, medium pass, A, D. Medium pass, 12, A, D. Incomplete. So the Pats go three and out. And so it's going to be fourth and nine. And now we get to try the punt. Oh, boy. Now we get to try the punt. So, so on the punt, um, so we're going to bring in Jarrell Wilson. And he's a uh, P, here's my notes, here's my notes, here's my notes. A P-A-K. So we're going to go K column here. The K cars are here. The K cars are here. All right, Wilson is going to punt this away. And we're... From the offense, 49 to the 15, yeah. So we're at our 31, so we're in the middle column. All right, so Wilson comes in from the K column here. And a 53 is probably not, not good. Uh, a 10. A 10 is 39 yards D10. 
So it's going to be Guida, 39 yards. All right, so with the locations of 32, it's a punt. And 10 is going to be Guido Merkins. So Merkins is back to receive the punt. It goes 39 yards to the, so that's 69 to the 31. And now Merkins gets to return this, right? And so we're looking at punt return. And so if he's a TB, and that's not two bellies, right? He's the backup guy, TB, P. So we're going to go P column, all right? We're going to go P column for Guido Merkins. All righty. And the 26 on the P column is a 25. And a 25 is, now they stuff him. They get in his face and there's no return. So, the Wingland goes three and out. Houston takes over. 12 and a half to go here in the first quarter. First and 10 on their own 31-yard line. All righty. Yeah, I had a tough start, ID. I had a real tough, tough, tough start. I set this up. It took me 57 minutes to set this up. Now, granted, you know, once I get a team set up, maybe if I can keep all their starters together, it'll go quicker. But just going through every card and trying to figure it out was was not fun. I did not have any fun at all during the setup. All righty. But the game itself, the game itself is, is seems to be fine. All righty. So Houston ball. So now let's do this. Let's try. Let's try the chart here. Let's try Jason's chart. All right, so we got a first and 10. Let's try it out. I was borderline ID rant because I didn't have any fun setting this up. All righty. Yeah, this is the first time. This is kind of why I wanted to film this so I could get, like, the very first thing and then maybe look back on it in a couple of months and say, wow, you know, boy, I struggled. Now, now look at me. Or I can have it <laughs> thrown in the trash and be saying, boy, I'm glad I played a different game. All right, so I got a 14 here. So, um... Run outside to 09. So Andy Johnson going outside. So we're trying um Jason's chart. Uh, I'm sorry. Um Mike. Yeah, no, no. Let me get the Houston team. Oh nine. Earl Campbell. Whew. Wrong team. All right, so we're gonna go outside run Earl Campbell. All righty, and for defense, 33, and New England defense is 35. We're going to be playing standard D. So outside run, Campbell, standard D. All right, so here we go. Outside run, Campbell, standard D. So it's um, it's BS, right? A bunch of BS. Oh, 22. That's probably good. Uh, oh, boy, it's a one. And Earl Campbell busts through and goes 69 yards for the touchdown. <laughs> a 22 oh no i'm sorry that's the kick call no i'm sorry Whew, looked at the wrong column that's a k column if he was kick returning he would have been gone whoo whoo oh i oh, almost screwed myself <laughs> wow that was close all right so outside run on campbell let's get on the right column now our column 22 is 18 that's a little better so 18 bs that was that was so close. Uh, six yards and he goes out of bounds. All righty, so we're gonna do this here. So he'll go like that. So Houston, uh, six yards. So second and four. So he'll get six yards on the carry. Get it out to the thirty-seven yard line. All righty, so thirty-seven yard line of Houston. The Jason charts. Yeah, Jason um, posted a couple of charts. One of them was this D twenty roll here. And it just kind of helps you automatically pick a play. It even has defense here if you want it. Because um, I like to have some help picking my uh, my plays. I don't like to always do them manually. All right, so I got a two right now. So on a second and six, on a second. And let me see. Second and six, a two. Um, a short pass to 09. So they're going to try a short pass to, I'm going to try a short pass to Campbell. Okay. 
throw it past the Campbell. So they're going to see if they can flare him out of the backfield and get this pass. So pass to Rainey now on a short pass. And New England is playing a 24. They're playing deep. Oh, they're playing. They're playing pass. Oh, they're playing pass. All right, so we got a a B. Oh, my Campbell is. Oh, Campbell's a C pass receiving. So I think he goes down to a C, right? So I get a C and D. That's not going to be good, I don't think. All right, pass to Rainey. Doubles usually good though. A five. So I get a five C D. Oh, he connects and he gets. 15 yards on the play, right? Oh, no, it's outside run. Never mind. Um, we said short pass. Short pass, B, D, 15. Incomplete. All right. Yeah, they covered him pretty well. So incomplete. Um, so 11.45. Houston ball, third and four at the Houston 37. All righty. Uh, yeah, I don't like the appetite shakers. I don't. All right, so we got a um a third and four. Yeah, let's let's see what Jason's chart says. It's a five. Short pass to O seven. So Mike Barber. So they want to go short pass to Mike Barber. And we got a six over here, fifty one rather, and a fifty one. Here's uh oh, they're playing the ground. They're going G. All righty. So I got a um, Mike Barber. Where is Mike Barber? There he is. So he's a B. All right. So Barber's a B. So we're going, what did we say we were going? Short. Pass short. Yeah, short pass. Short pass to Barber. It's a B. And they're playing ground. So we're going short pass. B, G, right? The B, Gs. We're going short pass, right? All right, pass to Rainey. Now, oh, another good roll, a 22. Uh, that's going to be a four. And a four short pass, B, G, is 17 yards to Mike Barber, and he goes out of bounds. So Mike Barber, 11, 15 to go. It's going to be a first down. 17 yards. So that gets to the 47. And three is the 50. And four more is the New England 46-yard line. Correct? Correct. So we have um 54. Yep. All right. So it's first game. All right. So we're still uh, on this chart here. That's fine. All right. So let's see what else he calls. Let's see what he calls here. He's going to call a six. And a six on first and 10 is a, a short pass to 11. And a short pass to Tim Wilson. So let's get Tim Wilson out here, who's, um, oh, oh Wilson was uh, off to the side over here somewhere, I think. Oh, he's the, he's the back. Okay. Oh, he's a C. E, okay. So we're going to go uh, short pass to Wilson. What you talking about, Wilson? All right. Short pass to Wilson in New England. 41 is in the standard defense. So we got a standard defense. So pass to Wilson, short pass B, I'm sorry, C, short pass C, standard. Short pass C, standard. Okay, short pass C, standard. A 24 from Pastorini. That's going to be uh, a 16. And CG, a 16 is... Complete, but he's pushed out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. So no gain, and he goes out of bounds. So Houston, second and 10 at the New England 46. And what do you want to do here? Let's go uh, Let's go Earl Campbell outside run. How about that? And New England is going to be playing 26 here. Uh, they'll, be playing, they'll be playing deep. They're going deep. Yep, second and ten. So they're playing deep, and we're going to go Campbell on the outside run. All righty. So we're going to go outside Campbell. I actually saw Earl Campbell one time at Foxborough Stadium. 
he was playing the Patriots, and Pat stacked him up pretty good that day, you know. Yeah, no, this this setup took something out of me. Idea did, and I'm not feeling good. That my, whatever I had or whatever the wife had came back, and I got it right in my face again, and it's driving me nuts. So this setup here kind of drove me nuts. The game itself seems to be fine. This setup could really, really keep me from playing this game. Um, all right, Campbell outside. So we're going deep. Um, B. So I got a 25 for Campbell on the run. It's going to be a 16 outside B and oh my gosh, outside run. They're playing back and Campbell's going to scamper for 15 yards. So Earl Campbell will go down first down to the New England um, 31 yard line. So, wow, here we go. Not yet, John. I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. If I do, I'll let you know. You know? All righty. So we got a first and 10. Let's go. Let's throw something a little longer here. Let's look for, um, let's look for Renfro long. Let's go long for Renfro. Long pass for Renfro. All righty. And he's a B. And. 56 for New, uh, New England defense is, oh, wow, they're playing ground. They were playing ground. Oh, boy, so we got a G. So we're going long pass. Between the defense's 30 and 50-yard line. Yeah, we're on the 31. Oh, do I want to go long pass at the 31? Yeah, yeah, we'll air it out. Screw it. Air it out. So we're going to go long pass for Renfro, a B going against G. A 43 on the pass is 32, 32 B, G. And incomplete, and there's an injury on the play, but we're not going to play injuries during this right here. I'm not going to torture myself anymore. All right, so Houston now second and 10 on the New England 31-yard line. And let's see what the chat says. The chat says 12. And on second and on the 10 is inside run for Tim Wilson. Inside run for Tim Wilson. So we're going to go inside run to Wilson. And Winglin is running. Uh, deep. They're going to go deep. They're playing deep because it's second and 10. So the automatic setting is D. Okay. So automatic setting is D. So here comes Wilson. Um, so we're going to run him B. And we said inside run Wilson. I mean, defense is 31. Yeah, we're on the 31. There we go. Oh, look at this one right here. That's just unbelievable. So he gets a 15. So Wilson gets a 15 inside run. B D. Right? Wilson gets a 15 inside run B D. Oh man. Wilson busts through that Patriot line. He continues through for 19 yards. Holy cow, the Oilers are driving it right down New England's faces here, right down their throats. 19 yards. So they're on the 31. They get to the 12. So they're on the New England 12-yard line. Oh, boy. So I'm going to have to really kind of flick my charts here. Um, do I need to go back? So I'm on the 12. So between the defense's 10 and 30-yard line. Yeah. 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 The setup was the game itself moving along. I don't have a problem with the game. The setup and setting all the cards up and, and laying out everything. Again, you know, what I did is I had this little sheet here. And so I want to know who D1 and D11 is. So I have everybody laid out so I can just get right to the car. But, that, you know, that's 44 guys I got to lay out, you know. And it's just, I don't know. It might get better. It, it was, it doesn't make me want to play it anymore. That's for sure. All right, so we're on the New England 12. Let's go. Um, let's go. Who, who else do I have for running backs here for Houston? 
halfback. Brian Duncan, Robert Turner. Where's my um? Let's see. Coleman, Duncan, Ronnie Coleman. Uh, let's go. Let's bring Ronnie Coleman in. All right, so Ronnie Coleman's over here. So we're gonna how can have Ronnie Coleman come in, and we're gonna go um outside, outside to Ronnie Coleman. All right, we're gonna let him carry the ball. So on the between the defensive ten and thirty, yeah, because we're on the twelve. Ronnie Coleman, and the Wingland will be running. Uh, let's see, they're only on the twelve. Oh boy, are they going? They they playing pass again? They're playing pass again. Oh, man. So they're going D. So Coleman outside against the pass. Uh, let's see how it goes. All right, Coleman outside. So Ronnie Coleman outside uh, on the B. Oh, look at that, a 66. And that's a 15 inside run. B, D, and oh, he goes for 12 yards. Well. That puts him right at the goal line, and I think that's a touchdown. So 12-yard TD run for Ronnie Coleman, and Houston marches right down the field. So they go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plays, and that's 69 yards. Eight plays, 69 yards. Unbelievable. Houston Oilers. Yes, yes, sing it. Sing it, Big Pablo. All righty. So Coleman comes in. And gets the J-O-B done. So now what we want to do is we want to take a look over here at our extra point chart, right? Extra point. All righty. So let's get Tony Frisch out here. Frisch, um, K-A-K. -K. So call him K. Call him K. A 63 is a 21. And a 21, it's no good. Where's our Red Sox fan? A 21 is no good. Frisch misses the extra point, and it's 6 nothing Houston. Oh, is that hilarious or what? Is that hilarious? That is hilarious. All righty. So Frisch is going to kick off now from the 35, so the kick is no good. So with 9.30 to go here, Houston's going to... Kick off from the 35. So here we go. Six nothing Oilers. Uh, we have a 14 on the hey column. Oh no, kick off AP. Kick off AP. Kick off P is P column. So P column, 14 on the P column is a 35. A 35 is. 55 to 09 TL. 55 yards. It's 09. So Raymond Claiborne. And I got a TL. I, I don't know what a TL is. Is that a tiara? TL. L column penalty. So we got a penalty here coming up. L column penalty. So we got a flag on the call here. So let's finish out the kick. So Frisch kicks it 55 yards to the 10, right? 55 yards to the 10. Raymond Claiborne gets it. And Claiborne off of column K. Ooh, 33 column K. That's a 9. Nine on the kick return is 30 yards. So he'll bring it out to the 40-yard line, but let's check the flag. So New England's going to start at the 40, but let's check the flag. So now we're going to go and find the penalty chart. Okay. Here's my penalty chart. So... Column L. On kickoff returns, only this penalty is measured from. All right, well, let's see what it is. So let's roll off a of column L. 
And I got a 51, and a 51 is a 35. A 35 is kick out of bounds, right? And the team gets it on their 40-yard line. Well, we have it at the 40 anyway on the return, so we're going to say it didn't go out of bounds, and he made a heck of a play, and he re I'm going to give him the return, all right? So no flag. We're going to decline the penalty and get it at the uh, the 40. All right, between, so we want to go here between offensive Defenses 30. No, where are we here? Goal line between the 10. Defenses 10 and 30. Between defenses 31 and offensive 15. Yeah, that's where we want to be. Yep, so we want to be here. 31 to 15. Yeah, okay. That's where we want to be. All right, so New England ball, you know. <laughs> All right, let's see what New England's going to do. Trailing 6 nothing as they miss the extra point. We'll just play a little bit more. Then I actually got to jump out because I got to work tonight. And So let's see if we're going to go um, short pass to 7. So we're going to go short pass to Russ Francis. All righty, so where's my Russ Francis over here? All right, so he's an A. So Russ Francis is an A. And um, the defense is playing. So we said, uh, so New England ball here. First and 10 on the New England 40. And we said short pass to Russ Francis. And let's see what the... Uh, the defense is going to run here. A 36 is a 31. And they're going to go standard. So we're going to standard pass. Now Jackson is, uh, I mean, Francis is A. All righty. So Grogan, pass column, short pass, A, standard. All right. See if I can get all this right. I got a 16. That's going to be a 20. So short pass, A, standard, a 20. Incomplete. So Francis can't get his hands on that one there. And New England can't get anything going. And the boos are raining down here at Schaefer Stadium. As it's going to be second and 10. New England can't get anything going at all. They went uh, pretty much three and out on their last drive. All righty. So let's see what they're going to do here. Yeah, he, he only missed one PAT, and I got it. So a seven is a short pass to Sam Cunningham. So they're going to throw this out to Sam Cunningham, who's a, a B. And the defense is running uh, D. So they're going to go D because it's second and 10. That's the automatic one. So it's going to be um, short pass, Cunningham. And it's going to be B, D. All right, short Cunningham. Short, short pass. Oh, 33 from Grogan is uh, a three. And a short pass, B, D, three. Oh, Cunningham hauls this in, and he's going to scamper for 14 yards. And that's a first down. That's the first first down of the day for New England. And they get a mock cheer from the crowd here as they get the ball to the 50-yard line. Nice. All righty. Um, I have played second season, and I have played inside blitz on a computer. I like inside blitz on a computer, but I don't like it on the table. It's just nothing I would want to play. Second season's fine. I just get confused about bringing players in. Just kind of like like here, I don't know when to bring players in. You know, I have all these cards. Do I only bring them in on injuries, or do I? Can I sub them in from time to time? And that's why I kind of like the games that do it automatically, like the 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 uh, the quick decks football. You don't have to do any of this it just plays and it handles all those things like in, in the background you know that's what I, I do really like you know solitaire pro football don't have to worry about any of this stuff it just it just takes care of itself anytime you get into the individual players and the cards it, it gets a little messy all right so we got a first and 10 on the 50 let's go a medium pass and let's see if we can get uh stanley morgan going on a medium pass and he's uh, an a receiver for a medium pass so we're going to go medium pass to Stanley Steamer. All righty. And, oh, they're going to be playing deep. They're going deep. So it's going to be A, 
going deep. So Krogan drops back. He looks for Stanley Morgan. A 52 is a 26 going medium pass. A deep 26 R. 26 R. Lovely. 26 R. 6 R. Quarterback scramble. <laughs> I have no idea what to do on a quarterback scramble. Roll the dice again. Use the passes R column and outside run to find out how many. Okay, so the, the quarterback is scrambling. Use his R column and go outside run. All righty. Simple enough. All right. So we're going to go Grogan outside run. So he can't get the pass off. He's going to run. So I think it's B against the deep, right? So is R column, is it right? So we got a 45. That's going to be a 19 outside run. BD, 19. And Grogan will scramble for five yards. So Grogan goes for five yards. All right, so seven and a half to go in a Wingland ball. Second and five on the Houston 45-yard line. Let's go uh, Let's go outside to Cunningham. All right, outside run to Cunningham. And I got a 61 over here on these guys, and they're going to go. They're playing ground. Oh, boy. They're playing ground. I might have messed up that last one. That's all right. Uh, so outside run ground. So I got a 46. Uh, 46 on the run is 24. 24 BG. And hit behind the line, he loses a yard. So Cunningham goes outside. They string him out. He can't get anywhere. And now it's going to be a third and six at the Houston 46 in New England. So they're well outside of field goal range. So let's see. What do we want to do? Um, well, we got to go medium pass. We're going to go medium pass to... Let's try Harold Jackson. We haven't got him involved. We're going to go medium pass to Harold Jackson. And he's an A. And the D, is it third and seven or more? No, it's not. So let's see what they're running for a D. I think that, they, wow, they're playing deep. 24 on 36. Yeah, they're playing deep. So we're going to go, Jackson is A, so we're going um, medium pass, A, deep. Medium pass, A, deep. Oh, 66. That should be good, right? A two. A two. Medium pass. And... He's going to go. That's a touchdown. 46 yards to Harold Jackson. And that's a touchdown. And New England has tied the game at 6-6. Six to six. Yeah, he floated that one out. Jackson hauled that in. And no one was going to catch him. So now, the dreaded extra point. So Posey comes in for the extra point. 6-6 six, six to six our score. All right, so Posey is a K column on, right? K. K. Come on, K. 64. That's a 40 on the K column. And that is good. So the kick is good. So New England takes a 7 to 6 lead. And I think that's where I'm going to stop because I do have to go and um, get ready for work tonight. And well, let me swap it up here. <laughs> so the game itself is fine. The game itself is fine. And I, and I kind of actually reading the directions, I pretty much understood it. It, it. it goes pretty well. It's your typical APA game, much like the baseball and the hockey. Uh, I am enjoying the game itself. The setup. No, that, that might be, uh, you know, we, we talked about, you know, hurdles in, in gaming. And this is a huge, huge hurdle right here is setting this up. Now, again, maybe if I were to set up my starters 
and just leave him there, then I could be good to go. And then I could just like what I'm doing right now, what I what I do like what I'm doing right now is I have my my main guys. So I got my, you know, my quarterbacks, my starting running backs, the 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 linemen and the receivers. And then if I want to, I'm popping in different guys at at, the, at different times. Like I brought in Ronnie Coleman, who's not starting. Um, I don't think. No, he's, he's he's not starting for the Oilers, but I I could bring him in as a back and run him, and he got the touchdown. So if I'm able to do things like that, it might not be that bad. It's just that initial setup was just oh man. Um, but if I could do the setup and then just keep them, I don't I don't know, I don't know. I've never seen a game with requiring that much setup, you know. Hmm. But anyway, well, it was like I said, the game itself is fine. I'm having fun with the game. I haven't got stuck with it. Just the setup, man. Oh man, I, I got to do a better job of that. I got to find a better way of setting this up and figuring it out. But again, you know, you can go back and watch how I did it. It there's no, I couldn't figure out a faster way to set this up because I, I do like having all my guys here. I like, I like knowing who's what in, in what column, you know. So I don't. Although I haven't really, I haven't really needed to go through this and figure out who was where you know except when i'm rolling on the chart that um that jason put out so so far i've not really needed to go through and look at anything so maybe maybe i don't need to even do this right here maybe i could just kind of but i i need to lay people out but and and i do need to figure out who's starting so i don't know i don't know um jury's still out on this one Jury is still very much out on this game. Um, the game plays fine, at least when I've seen. I've played a couple of possessions, had some fun, missed an extra point, good times. So the game itself is fine from what I've seen. The setup is what I have an issue with. And I didn't anticipate the setup being like that. I just didn't. Did not anticipate anything at all like that. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'll have to play it more and see um see what comes out of it. But I'm gonna leave my setup here, and um you know who knows maybe late tonight when I get home I'll jump back on and try to play some more. Again the game the game plays fine. I I like how it plays. It's just it was gonna take me 57 minutes to set up a, a football game. Then it's gonna take me another two hours to play it. No, no, just the answer's no. <laughs> so anyway, there's just too many other games that I enjoy that don't take 57 minutes to set up. So. But anyway, all right, I'm Dave. I got to go to work so I can pay for some of this stuff. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.